Hello, good morning. Happy Monday. Oh, Monday. Mm, how about it? I hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, I had a, oh, it doesn't matter, all my days are similar, uh, sort of blend together. Um, Sundays are different because it's the one day I don't have to, or I don't have to. It's not the, it's the one day I don't meet you with you guys. Um, so I always get so sad. Um, yesterday I went for a nice long walk. Um, it's, uh, I discovered that um, walking around the hills uh, of my neighborhood is a good workout. I, uh, there's a lot of hills. Um, and it's good. And there's some nice vistas. So I've been taking some really crappy photos of the views on my walk and uh, I haven't been sharing them because I'm really not a good photographer. And uh, I swear it's like, I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, that's beautiful. And then I take a photo of it and then I look at my camera and I'm like, wait, it doesn't look anything like this. It looks nice. And I look at the photo of my camera. I'm like, oh, this camera sucks. Um, yeah, I think uh, I have an iPhone 7, and uh, I think Apple is doing everything they can in their power to make me want to buy a new phone. Um, so I think they like installed a camera filter that's just like crappy. Take any photo that you take, like any photo you take, it just layers on some poop, like smears it all over the camera. I don't know, like, yeah. Uh, I never consider myself a good photographer, but like I am getting worse and worse. Like, yeah, there's there's some filter on it. So anyway, uh, my sister said she was joining me today, so I'm gonna wait for her because that's that would be the polite thing to do. And then we'll get started. So today it's lower body because we're alternating every other week. Uh, my sister said every time I join you, it's uh. Lower body, I said, well, I switch every other week. She's like, oh, I've only been going every other week. So I'm like, well, that's what happens. You're synced up wrong. Um, she'll have to resync if she wants to get some upper body. Um, so this week, uh, uh, just an announcement, this week is the last week on this schedule. I'm going to switch it up next week. Uh, mostly going back to the normal schedule uh, or, well, the, the original schedule that I had. Um, it's nice to get the workouts done in the morning, but, uh, I, I switched it to 10 to try the lunch crowd, but the lunch crowd ain't showing. So I'm just going to go back to, uh, evening. Oh, always late. All right. Hi, Easter. How's it going? Happy Monday. I know you've been up for like five hours already and you've already done all the things. Um, you're having a good start to your day. Uh, yeah, so some announcements. Uh, so, Meredith, you missed it. Um, I'm going back to more of the original schedule uh, for next, starting next week. So this is the last week on this schedule. Um, also, heads up, um, Wednesdays were on Zoom, but I'm taking those classes off of Zoom and back on Facebook Live because no one was showing up. I think everyone's just sort of Zoomed out. Um, people may just be over it in general. You may be sick of me. I don't know. I'm still here. Um, I'm going to keep going whether you like it or not. Um, but if you show up, that's even cooler. So, so I'm going to change the invite for Wednesday. Actually, I'm going to take the invite down. Um, but I'm, I am going to make it a, uh, I am going to make it a Facebook live workout on Wednesday or the, the two stretches. So it will be the same time, but, uh, without, uh, without being on Zoom. All right, so I am putting my headphones in, my janky, janky headphones. Turn it on. Going to my Spotify playlist, lower body workout, 5-4. And we are going to start in three, two, one, press play. Starting three, two, one, here we go. This is jogging around. 
Jog in place. Move around if you need to. Woo! It's Monday morning. Fist bump for everybody. Psh. You got a minute of this, so just take it slow. Warm up. It is nice and cool in Santa Barbara right now, but it's going to be up to 80, which means all the Santa Barbarans, Santa Barbarians, Hanna Barbarians are going to be complaining how hot it is. Um, let's see what's going on here. Husband uh, was working in the garden yesterday. I did a little bit of gardening as well. Uh, getting our garden ready to go. Got some new lettuces planted, and we're trying to plant all the herbs. So it's all good. We're going to do butt kicks in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, butt kicks. Get those heels to your butt. So my husband was, you know, planting things and using a shovel. And uh, you can't see it, but he just left the shovel, right, in like sticking straight up out of the dirt. And so I asked him, I said, when did we plant shovels? I don't remember planting those seeds. But we got one, it just started going out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, 30 seconds left. And if you need to go slow, go slow. I'm going to go faster. Got 15 more seconds. Ten seconds. Two, one. So knee raise. You can do a little pull in if you want. Just taking this one nice and slow. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Did you go out to your back door, or your front yard, or uh, go for a walk? Maybe went for a hike? If your parts haven't been shut down yet? It's so weird. We, uh, the parks and beaches in Santa Barbara haven't been closed yet. So everybody in the area is flocking to our beaches. It's a little disconcerting because I don't have to wear masks. I ride my bike past them and I'm just like, ah, oh, morons. All right, three seconds, two, one. Let's just do some forward kicks, nice and slow. Flex the foot, get a little bit of a hamstring stretch. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on one side. I'm gonna switch. Take one day off and it feels like a million. Let's help. Switch sides in three, two, one. Whew. Feeling sort of tight today. Ah, well, such is life. 15 seconds left. Next, we're going to do some hip openers. Or hip mobility exercise in five, four, three, two, one. So you're gonna crouch down low, legs wide, just tip the knee to the floor. So we're up here, do a little stretch open, do a little knee dip. And if that's not accessible, just you know, do what you can. So maybe sway side to side a little bit. We got 30 more seconds. And if the squat's a little too much, just shake it out. And come up a little higher. And get a nice little great stretch. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, imagine you have a chair over there. 
kick up and over. Get a nice leg swing. My mulleted husband is tending to the guard right now. His baby, very exciting. Maybe we'll get another glimpse of him in the mirror or in the window, look for it in the window. Twenty seconds left. Large muscle groups. I am breathing harder than I thought I would. Well, I don't know, it's gonna make sense. Three, two, one, let's have a seat. Let's just do a butterfly, whatever your range of motion is on this. We're gonna do this as a very active stretch. So instead of pressing down and being passive, I just want you to work on your range of motion in this position. Got 30 seconds left. Oh, delightful. Just sitting down, stretching. Look at that, alternating. Oh my lord. It's crazy. It's crazy this morning. Oh, it's actually weird. I've been getting bug bites. I think from all the bugs, the bugs that are attacking our house. Three. Two, one, get into a frog position. So like this, I'm gonna go this way so my knees are on the ground, and just forward and back. So your lower legs are going straight back, and I'm just rocking my hips forward and back, slowing down on the back so I get a little bit of a stretch. So anyway, um, I've been getting like, I don't know, mosquito bites or Spider bites, I don't know. I got a lot of bites and now itch. It's driving me nuts. I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like paranoid that they were bug bites or bed bug bites or something. And yeah, I slept okay. Despite the itching, it was weird. Got 15 more seconds and then we are done with this warm up. Hope your legs are feeling open and limber and <laughs> your legs are feeling open. What was that? I don't even know. Three, two, one. Take a break. Ah. How are you feeling? Good job, good job. How are you feeling, Mayor? Feeling good? There's a part of uh, when I used to do insanity workouts with Shanti, there was one where it was like, um, he's like, open up your legs, open up your hole. And I was like, what? Whoa, that was crazy. So that was my moment right there. Ice packs, I will remember that. I'm gonna have to put one like all over my body. Giant, one giant ice pack. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. Um, we're just gonna do exercises for one or two minutes at a time, okay? We're gonna start standing and we're gonna make our way to the ground, sort of like if you're doing a balance workout. Just we're doing banded legs. So um, the first exercise, after I grab some water, we're just gonna be doing banded toe taps. So you're just gonna tap front, side, and back. Pretty straightforward. Have the band around our ankles, okay? So front, side, back. And we're just gonna do that two minutes a side, two minutes on each leg. So pace yourself, it's gonna be sort of crazy. We're gonna start, I'll show you from the side. So in three seconds, two, one, here we go. So forward, side, back. So we got two minutes on this. Pace yourself. So, since this is a banded workout, 
We're not doing super high resistance. So I'm gonna go for reps today. So long periods of time. Um, we're doing these exercises. Now note, keeping my hips forward and square. My supporting leg is slightly bent, okay? And my leg, active leg, trying not to rotate anything out. Remember to watch your form, make sure your butt's not sticking out. Feel free to do an adjustment if it is. Keep going, you got another minute. So you should feel it in your active leg. You should also be feeling your supporting glute. Whew. We're gonna do two minutes to so really feel that burn. Ah. Oh. So I still just have a list of exercises. I'm not quite sure. I have to admit, as time has been going on, I've been getting a little lazier with my workouts. I knew I wanted to do a banded workout today, but it's not super structured just because, um, I don't know, taking a break, a little bit of a mental break. Um, we got five more seconds. We're gonna switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Ooh, two minutes. So, uh, so yeah, this isn't gonna be one of those like, we're gonna do this circuit, we're gonna do this circuit. Now we're just gonna crank out the reps long periods of time. And uh, we'll see that some of the motions are a little repetitive, just done in different positions. So we start standing, then we go to seated. Then we go to think on your back and quadruped, and then you know things like that. So you'll see that we'll do like similar motions, like knee abduction, but um, might do it in different positions. Um, there's also something else. I hope I put it on there because I want to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try to hit all the good groups. Keep going, got another minute. Feel it in my supporting glute, I'm feeling it in my active leg. This is where I'm using this mega band, my fabric bands. I have mixed feelings about these bands because like I said, you have to move through a certain range of motion before you start feeling tension. So it's like the range of the, the range of motion under tension is sort of small, and then because of tension so high, you don't go as far as you might with the, uh, the rubber bands. But make it work. Got ten seconds left. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two. One, take a break. Woo, shake it out. <sighs> How are your legs feeling so far? Yeah, yeah, I feel a lot of my stationary leg too. Don't worry, we're gonna be doing uh, lots of stuff for side loop today. That'll help you on all of your, um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> It'll help you when you're walking and, you know, help build up those muscles that support your knees. So we're going to start again in 30 seconds and we're just going to be doing alternating knee raises and we're going to do this for two minutes, okay? So just alternating. We're going to start in 15 seconds, so just enough time for me to grab some water. Right. Two minutes, okay. We're going to those hip flexors starting in three, two, one, here we go. So my, the goal is to get your knee, you know, 90 degrees, get it all the way up. You can go higher, you can go a little higher, but want to at least get this way. Notice that the band is on my uh, 
Toes is out around my ankles. Um, take it slow because you may have to adjust. We're 30 seconds in. And then we're, we're going to be doing stuff like this in plank, I believe. So we get another round of it in a different position. So it was really chilly, so I closed all the windows. And I think I'm going to be opening it up right after this. Three, two, one. Keep going. We are halfway through. <laughs> You're like, why did you count down the halfway point? I don't know, because I have this on like a minute timer. So this counts off every minute. And uh, yeah, apparently, just wanted to, wanted to count that off. All right. 35 seconds left. I'm trying to drive that knee up. Just, so I think we were, we were here when we did the band of mountain climbers and they kept falling off. And I think you just got a nice and slow, slow and steady wins the race. 10 more seconds. Watch your pelvic tilt, don't stick your butt out. Three, two, one. Take a break. Good job. Open the window. Give me a high five. All right, so, because we want to work the side glutes more, we're really gonna, we're really gonna hammer those today. So, my apologies in advance. So this next one, we're just gonna do the band side of side locks. Again, two minutes, so enjoy this last 30 seconds. So remember, you can have it up here for lower resistance. If you want more of a challenge, you can put it near your ankles. I'm gonna waddle over, where's your right there? Inching forward, huh. You got some, you might think about that. We're gonna start up in five seconds. Three, two, one. So you just side to side. Try to keep your hips forward. So not like trying to try not to rotate your foot out too much. So why are you inching forward? But I would guess is that when you brought, I'm wondering if you brought your heels up, the heel up on your supporting leg, and then you just sort of like crept your foot forward every time you tap down. Maybe yeah, that's what happened. It's interesting. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, pay attention to what your heels are doing. Are they staying on the ground or are they coming up a little bit? Try to drive that heel down. You know, on the supporting leg, try to drive it down and back. See if that helps. All right, we're almost at the minute mark. Keep going, keep going. One more minute. So the next two exercises are going to be um, in a seated position. So you'll want to grab a chair. We'll have a minute break after this, so I'll give you a minute to like grab your chair. Um, and we'll do those two exercises in seated position. Very exciting. You get to sit down. Rotate your pelvis under if you need to. You're sticking your butt up. And I'm really feeling it in my side glutes. Again, making sure my hips stay forward, square. Oh, my Lord of the Gordy. And I also want to make sure you're not rocking your hips too much. Just keep them level. Whew. All right, we got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three. Two, one, take a break. Ah. Good job, good job, good job. How you feeling, how you feeling? All right, we're gonna get my funky chair. And if you had a, an exercise ball you wanna sit on and do this for extra stability, you can do that. I don't feel like getting it down, so.
All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put the band around our ankles, and we're just going to extend our knee, okay? Um, let's see if I want to use the rubber band. So for me, like I said, it's like I have to go this far just to get engagement in the band, and then I can't go very far. But I'm going to keep your posture upright. We're going to start in eight seconds. We're going to do one minute each leg. We're going to see how this goes. Two, one, here we go. So notice that I'm dorsiflexing my foot. I'm, you might just say flexing the foot. Whew. So uh, should we feel this in your quad? Thirty seconds left. Maybe we'll do two sets of this. Let's see how our quads feel. <sighs> Keep that foot that's down on the ground. Keep it planted into the ground. We got ten seconds left before we switch feet. Five, four, three, two. One, switch feet. I'm getting sweaty. How about you? Are you getting sweaty? I'm sweaty. But then again, I can walk down the street and it's 65 degrees out and I start sweating. So uh, I think we're going to do another minute on each side after this. Let's see. I'm trying to read how much time or what time it is. I have no idea. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of quad work. So let's uh let's do another minute per side. Ten seconds till you switch feet. Four, three, two. One, switch legs. Oh, the quads. Keep my foot flex. Keep going, keep going. Whew. How could you spend so much sitting down? Easy. Doing this stuff. Got 30 seconds on this leg, and we're gonna switch sides. So I am trying to sit up straight. Let's fix that posture of mine. I was slacking, I was just sort of like, mm -hmm. don't slip in your chair, sit up straight. This is a good chance to work on posture. Four, three, two, one, switch sides. Last minute doing this. Work those quads, work those quads, work those quads, yay! It's weird that you would hear me saying that on a Monday morning. Even faux, even imitating that kind of energy is exhausting. <laughs> so I don't know if you consider yourself a morning person. I know Meredith, you're a morning person. You get up at ungodly hours every day for fun. Um, it's so weird. I don't consider myself a morning person. Like, I don't know. I, I do it, but I'm not like excited about it. But I'm not a night owl anymore. Like, I used to stay up really late. Now it's like, I'm bored. Let's go to bed. And it's like 9 30. So, ah, maybe I'm a mid afternoon person. I don't know. We got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, take a break. Whew. That was sweaty. Waddle over, waddle over. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, you wrote something else. <laughs> and I've been fine I hope you said hi. Give me a high five while you were up close. We got 38 seconds. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this around our upper thigh near our knee, and then we're just gonna do, keep our feet together and bring our knees out. So knee abduction. Starting in 18 seconds. Are you ready? Y'all ready for this? I am getting old. I know, but you think I'd at least be more of a morning person since I'm going to bed so early. And I wake up and I'm like, ah. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Just, I would say squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs, but we're actually squeezing the butt other way. Um, we're gonna have to do a makeshift uh, hip adduction exercise, because most of these are gonna be ab sections are going out. Um, yeah, it gets a little tricky with the mini bands to get a, a good ad, AD duction uh, move in, but we're going to try. Let's see what we can do. Got 30 seconds. Actually, no, let's do this for two minutes. Let's really work those side moves. Oh, no! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. So, all right, so we're at the. We're about 50 seconds in. Oh, your steps tall. Three, two, one, we're at the halfway mark. Keep going. So, see if you can get your uh, legs to relax and try to isolate this in your glutes. Sometimes I feel like my hamstrings tighten up as I'm doing this. Try to get them to relax so that you're just activating the glutes. Ah, 30 seconds. Gonna work those glutes today. Squeeze the boom boom. Very excited. We have 10 seconds left. Oh, yeah, so this week is going to be pretty momentous. I'll tell you more about it. Four, three, two, one. Take a break. Ooh, shake that out. Oh, my lordy. How are you doing? Ah! The cue cards just dropped. High five, high five. I'm not hitting you in the head. I'm giving you a high five. Get your, uh, Get your mats out if you're, if you're going to be on the ground. So we're going to do dead bug with a band on our feet for this next one. So we're going to be getting core in here. Um, quarantine. Quarantine, core in here. Oh, Caesar has something to say. 15 seconds left. Why are you positioning your foot? Oh, interesting. I will take that into account. All right, get ready. So we're going to the dead bug, quadruped position. And we're going to go now. So opposite arm goes down. And then that leg pushes. So try to keep your the leg that's not going up. Try to keep it at 90 degrees. So it's sort of interesting because you're sort of pulling with one, pushing with the other. Thirty seconds in. Keep going. I'm gonna check the time real quick. Three, four. Keep your back into the ground. Keep going, another minute. And if you can't remember, oh wait. <laughs> so I was just doing dead bug with the same arm and hand going out. It's not the end of the world, but um, I guess it actually makes it a little bit more of a balance because you're in, you're in balance on one side. 
So level one is opposite level two, or I'm just not keeping track. The same side goes out. You got 20 seconds left. So if your legs are out wider in that abduction, you're going to be increasing, I mean, the range of motion is going to go, let's see. Well, if your feet are out wider, take a break. If your feet are out wider, um, there's going to be more of a, let's see. You have to think about that one. All right, we got 47 seconds. So, this next one, you're basically gonna do a glute bridge and bring your legs out, or bring your knees out. So we're still doing that abduction. So let's do a little thing. Let's see, does it feel like it's more engaged when your feet are together? Or when they're out? Remember that when you go up into that glute bridge, you get into a nice line, squeezing the glutes, before you go into that move. Now remember, don't overextend your back. All right, we got 10 seconds. We're going to start. We're going to do this for two minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. So I'm going to do the first ones with my feet close together. You're going to contract the glutes at the top. Squeeze the glute move. So now it's up coming down. Up, open, open. Let me try with my feet wider apart. My first guess is that with your feet wider apart, you are more abducted and you're getting into a larger range of motion. Hence, it would activate your glutes more. So let's say, you know, feet shoulder width apart. We got another minute. If you want, you can have your arms up in the air. If you want a little more of a balanced challenge, don't have your arms supporting you. Woo. Feeling it on the second minute. How about you? Got 25 seconds left. Keep going strong. Just keep squeezing those glutes at the top of the movement. Ten seconds. Finish strong. Finish strong. Strong glutes. Strong booty. Take a break. Whew. Good job. This is awesome. <sighs> awesome job, awesome job. Ooh. Ooh. Doing those opposite. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so you weren't, I'm guessing, you're saying maybe your resistance bands were too low. I'm assuming you weren't feeling it as much. Um, that's possible. Um, if you want, you can always double up on resistance bands. You know, general rule of thumb is it's a good resistance if um, you're feeling it. You really, you know, the, the last, you know, so many seconds are a struggle. So I'm going to, we took a little longer break than planned, but we're gonna do is hamstring curls. So get on your back. We're gonna have the supporting leg, the one that's down, it's gonna be around your ankle. And then the one that's uh, contracting, it's gonna be around your foot, okay? So we're gonna start in three, two, one, here we go. 
So I'm really contracting the hamstring. Um, my lower foot, my, my foot that's uh, not doing anything, I have the foot plantar flex, and I think that's more just so I can get the foot lower to the ground and get the larger range of motion under tension. No, this is a strong band, I'm not getting super flexion. You may have, with your band, you may be able to kick your butt, okay? Um, doesn't really matter, we're gonna do this for two minutes on each leg. Oh, no! But we're gonna switch legs. How about that? I'll make it a little nicer. So we're gonna switch legs in 12 seconds. So I've gotten to be a master of this. All right, just sort of do a little flip with my hips. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Switch sides effortlessly. So now it's on my left ankle and my right foot. Trust me, if you do this enough, you'll get used to doing a quick transition. It may take you a while when you first start, but I'm a pro. This is why I get paid the not big bucks. So other things, I'm keeping my core tucked in. Tucked in? <laughs> just, just tucking it in under my belt. Um, I'm keeping my core engaged. I'm, I'm drawing in my navel because I don't want my back to just sort of like sink into the ground unsupported. That would be bad. We got 18 more seconds on this leg and we're going to switch sides. Whew, 10 seconds. Oh, uh, my hamstrings, I hit you, I hit you, I hit you. Three, two, one, switch sides again. Oh. Oh, man. My hamstrings are so weak. Story of my life. I just keep trying to, keep trying to work them. Sometimes progress is slow. You know, sometimes it's like when you first start working out, you make lots of gains right away. And you hit plateaus, and then it's like you gotta fight for every gain after that. But then you do it, and it's awesome. But um, yeah, the hamstrings are a struggle for me. I don't know how they get so weak. But a lot of people do have like strong quads and, and weak hamstrings. And I think we talked about this once. We got 13 seconds left before we switch one last time. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Woo! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna liar on myself. Oh, no! Fail. Oh, seven seconds lost. That's what you get for being, that's what you get for hubris. You boast about your seamless transitions, and then you F it up on camera. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Ah, gains, sweet gains. Oh, this is MC Hammer. He is too legit to quit. So are we. We're not going to quit. Can't stop. Won't stop. Ah. Ten seconds. I get a break. Whew. Three, two, one. Oh, my little Orgy Bagordy. Whew. That was horrible. Oh. Maybe that was better for you. Oh my gosh, shake that out, shake that out. Uh, the video froze? Wow, that's an exciting new uh, development. So last Monday when I was doing mine, my video, um, Okay, Modelli Monday. So my uh, band, or my, my video feed kept skipping, but no one else saw it. And uh, I don't know why it's freezing. Every week Zuckerberg's like, let's have something else go wrong. All right, we're gonna get into all fours on this next one. And we're just gonna do leg raises. Okay, just like this, so keep the legs straight. We're going to start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, 
So you want to try to keep your hips parallel to the ground as opposed to like rocking or dropping that hip. You also want to make sure your navel is tucked in and that you're not like letting your back sink too much. We're going to do a mini each side, alternating. So two minutes total. You got 30 more seconds on this leg. Oh, whew. Keep that, keep that belly button tucked in. Protect your back. So notice that I'm not like doing this huge raise. One, my band is pretty crazy, but just think about contracting, squeezing that glute each time. We got four seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. So I'm doing a quick check of my position. Bring my hips square, making sure my supporting leg is in a nice 90 degree angle. Making sure my shoulders are over my wrists and elbows. Make sure I'm not rotating out. 30 seconds, drawing in my navel, protecting my lower back. If you start to feel it in your lower back, take a break, shake it out, draw that core in. Think about bracing through your legs, squeezing those glutes. Got 15 more seconds and we're going back to the other side. I don't know about you, but my glutes are killing me, the burn. Four, three, two, one, switch sides. But sometimes people tell me like, oh, that hurts. And so the question is, is it hurting or is it burning, okay? So if you're feeling this gradual burn as you progress through the exercise, that is normal and that is what you should expect. That is not pain, that is burn, and you should keep pushing yourself. Now, if you felt like this sharp, jagged pain, like shooting every time you did the contraction, that is different, that is pain, okay? So one of the things, especially for people who are new to exercise, thinking about, you know, distinguishing between is this burning or is this pain? Pain is something you want to stop and, you know, think about what's going on. Burning is just you gotta keep pushing yourself through it. Speaking of which, we've got five more seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides one more time. Two, one, here we go, last time. Whew. Checking my position. Keep that navel drop tucked in. Oh, this is hard. how much time we're going to have left. We have about 15 minutes left in this workout, so I'm debating whether I just want to do all legs or if I want to try to do abs. And let's finish up with legs. We've got, we've got a handful of exercises left. I like to get through them all. Keep going. 13 seconds. 10. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Whew. that was that was challenging. Good job, good job. Oh, yeah. I vote for legs too. Let's do legs. We'll have strong, strong legs, comrades. Oh, I got a lot of stuff left. Okay. Well, we're going to have to pick and choose. So, let's see. Oh. Oh, where did this song come from? I don't know what, where I got this. Uh, yeah, let's try for some hydrants. So, we're going to alternate sides. In plank position, gonna get a little bit of core workout. Here we go. Two, one, here we go. So 
Now I'm not getting quite the range of motion I would like. I might switch up my band. Basically just knee to elbow, same side. Oh. 30 seconds in. Take a break if you need it. 13 seconds left. We're going to do one minute on this so we can get through some of the other exercises. You're going to keep your head neutral spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good job. All right. What else we got here? something a little different. So we're going to take a break. And what we're going to do is take the shoes off if you got a minute. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that one. It's sort of hard. They sort of stayed in place, but um, it was a little tough. Okay, so what we're going to do here is so we're going to do a plantar flexion with a toe curl. So you see that movement? So plantar flex, curl down. So the band is on my toes, and you're going to want to take this slow. So plantar flex, toe, release. Plantar flex, toe curl, toe up, here we go. Plantar flex, toe, back, up. Toe, back, up. So we're going to work on curling those toes. Gives you a nice break. I hope you can see what I'm doing with my toes, but it's basically plantar flex the foot, and I just curl my toes under. We're going to do one minute each side. So make sure that you curl and then uncurl your toe. So you undo the motion coming back. Here, I'll just it's so hard to see this tiny toe. But trust me, my toes are curling after I flex my foot. So flex, curl, up, two seconds, one, switch sides, flex, curl. So this is what it looks like. Whew. Oh, wow. <laughs> My left calf is like cramping up when I do the curl. So that's my plantar flex. My toes sort of stay up so they can come back down. It's an exaggerated movement with the toes. So uh, after this workout, we've got Modality Monday. Uh, this week is going to be agility lab. Yay! It was uh, a split vote <laughs> off two of you. So I said I'm going to do agility lab. Here we go. Two, one. Take a break. Good job. Whew. Nice little thing. I think the, yeah, I think the, uh, so like I said, you, you know, Meredith, you're talking about sliding around. This didn't slide around too bad on that uh, that one move. Um, they have their own issues. So like I said, you have to extend really far to get tension, and then these are so strong that I don't get a range of motion. So I think it's sort of a six of one and a half dozen the other. Um, you know, there's always a, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I was going to say something, something, uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of like roller skate wheels. You just got to, um, you got to play around. You got something for each thing. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I have one foot. I have one foot sort of extended. I have my knee bent, 
And I'm just gonna try to dorsiflex the foot. So this is a tiny movement because of the way I'm set up. But you're just gonna try to bring your toe towards your shin, all right? We're gonna do one minute, here we go. So working that group. So again, you can't see very much, but this foot is flexing towards me, towards my shin. Whew. Don't work the anterior tibialis very often. Muscle along your shin. Can you feel the shin splints? I can feel the shin splints. All right. Whew. We got 30 more seconds of this. So the thing is, we work the calves so much. We don't work. We don't work the uh, the shin muscle. The shin muscle. <laughs> the anterior tib very much. So we got 20 more seconds on this. Enjoy this burn. It's gonna be. A nice 12 seconds left if you need a break. Shake it out, shake it out, and get right back in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. I feel like I just can't even flex this foot. So um, a lot of times when people have like feet turning out when they do uh, squats, that's because their um, their calves are uh, um, they're overly tight, and their anterior tibialis is needs to be strengthened. So what happens is you go down into a squat, and ideally your heels would stay on the ground. But because you're so tight, your heels come off the ground, and then what happens is your feet start, it looks, your feet start turning out. Um, anyway, so this is gonna help with that. Two, one, take a break. Ah. So I I switched to my latex band because I think it would've been weird with the uh, fabric one. All right, so what do we got time for? It is, we got like five minutes left. Hmm. Let's finish with um, some clamshells. I want to do a adduction today. It's really hard with the bands because um, so basically for the adduction, you'd raise like this. We can try it. Well, let's let's try it. I feel like it's hard to get a good good movement. Yeah, sort of like turned out. So this is the movement. So I have my leg, my upper leg back, and I'm gonna be lifting my leg. We're gonna do this in five seconds. We're gonna do this for a minute each side, and we're gonna swap it out and do two rounds. Here we go. Yeah, I feel like I'm just not getting good tension on this, but keep going. So I'm trying to keep my foot um, so keeping it parallel to the ground as opposed to like letting the toe rotate up. You want to keep your back protected. Try to keep your torso sort of perpendicular to the ground. There we go. Use your hand. For support, we got ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. This is where the thigh master would be great. You can just squeeze it together, work those adductors, your adductors. Trying to keep my torso relatively perpendicular as opposed to like leaning forward. Or leaning back. Ooh, sorry, right to lean back. Sort of balance on that side hip. You got 15 more seconds, and we're gonna switch sides and do it again. 
All right, I'm starting to feel it now. Oh. Four, three, two, one. So man, I wouldn't want to use the uh, fabric band because notice I don't have a huge range of motion on this. I would probably never get under tension with that fabric band. So when I bought the fabric band, I was like, oh, my woes are over. I'll never have to worry about, you know, the band falling off or falling down. Well, then you just have different issues. So I guess it pays to have both, but, um, you know, they cost money. Everything costs money. No free lunch, no free equipment. Whew. 15 more seconds. 10. Get ready to switch. Two, one, switch sides. Oh. add like an extra um, core workout like not core imbalance but just like straight up like little 10 minute core workouts it could be bonus workouts or something let me think out loud during my workout because can't hear you you can yell at me if you want let me know if there's anything you want we got 15 more seconds of this Ten seconds. Finish strong. Two, one. Take a break. Woo! Oops, 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 oops. Good job. How are you feeling? Oh, are you wobbling around like this? Awesome job. Awesome job. Yeah, um, I always feel like I didn't feel the resistance once I got the hang of it. I think t positioning your body and getting that back leg back more, it helps. Um, yeah, it's not going to be a good range of motion, but you'll feel a little better. So I'm going to skip the, to the last song so we can do our cool down because we're going to end there. Whew, feeling in my inner thighs. All right, cool down song in three, two, one. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, <laughs> inhale, so my timer going, just uh, sway side to side a little bit, Woo, that feels good, I did feel that on my inner thighs in that last move, so um, yeah, how, would that, how was that feeling for you, I thought it was pretty good for a banded workout, Doing those, some of those two minutes can be intense. Let's lean down. Ah, shake it out, shake it out. You're gonna lean to one side. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Bend this opposite knee, feel that stretch on your inner thigh. Oh, so nice. So again, coming up in a few minutes, we've got, um, sorry, nose to opposite other knee. Uh, we've got modality, modal, modality, modality. <laughs> we have modality Monday, I'm gonna be doing a, a agility ladder. That'll be fun. I love agility ladders. And I've got so many big things coming up this week. I'm getting a package from my mom today. Thanks, mom. I'm getting a special delivery, Ben this up to me. Tomorrow, you'll get to see it on Wednesday, I'm so excited. And then on Wednesday, I have jigsaw puzzles arriving. It's like all the packages are ready today, this week, and I love it. Something to look forward to. What do you have to look forward to this week? This week? Come back together, and 
So let's walk into a downward dog and pedal your feet, pedal your calves. I hope you have something to look forward to this week. Maybe you look forward to these workouts. Ha <laughs> doubt it. All right, keep on those feet. Whew, feel the stretch. Oh, try to get those heels towards the ground. Oh, oh I'm gonna do a little plank to down our dog. I'm gonna stand up, do a little quad stretch. Let me do that was quad. Oh, the, uh, the leg extensions. Yeah, that was the knee extensions. That was fun. See the knee extensions. Working the quads in a different way. It was fun. So show the quad. As always, I want to thank you for working out with me today. My brain out old Monday mornings. Always fun. Um, just remember, thank you for showing up. You are that much stronger. And that will work out with friends and family. So just so want to say thank you for doing that. Do a little bit of a ooh, shake it, shake it, shake it. Just a beaver making you shake it. Sorry, it's slower to cool down. Mm, mm, mm. I will conclude my program there, but feel free if you want to do any more stretches. In the meantime, thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good week. And I uh, hope to see you again this week. So again, uh, Modality Monday coming up in a few minutes. It's going to be Agility Ladder. Wednesday, no more on Zoom. We're going back to Facebook Live. So um, it'll be here, same bat time, same, well, different bat channel. Same bat time, though. Um, and then we're going to be switching up the uh, schedule starting next week. So stay tuned. Have a good day, you guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.